So in this video we're going to look at a two-parameter uh, solution family to a differential equation and identify whether that two-parameter solution family um, satisfies given boundary values. So I have a differential equation here, y double prime plus 16y equals zero and it's a boundary value problem because I've been given um, some boundary conditions and again it's not an initial value problem because the inputs for x are not the same so if I had y of zero and y prime of zero so that I was inputting x equals zero for each of y and y prime I'd have an initial initial value problem but here I have two distinct values being input for x so it makes this a boundary value problem and the claim is that this equation right here is a two parameter solution family for this differential equation so what we're claiming is then that this uh, function y y of x is a uh, solution to this differential equation and we call it a two parameter solution because it contains two constants of integration c sub 1 and c sub 2 and we would either need to know initial conditions or boundary values to be able to uh, find uh, real number values for c sub 1 and c sub 2 so the first thing that we ought to do is just verify that this is actually a solution for this differential equation instead of taking it on blind faith so I have y equals c sub 1 cosine of 4x plus c sub 2 times the sine of 4x so I'm going to need the second derivative and the f and y in addition to y so I'm going to have to take the first derivative which is going to be 4 c uh, minus 4 c sub 1 times the sine of 4x got to make my pin work right plus here I'm going to have 4 times c sub 2 times the cosine of 4x and I need the second derivative so we're going to take the take the derivative again so we're going to get negative 16 c sub 1 times the cosine of 4x minus 16 c sub 2 times the sine of 4x and then as you recall to verify that we have a solution we plug in the values for y y prime and y double prime and we verify that they evaluate to zero so if we have y double prime plus 16y it's going to equal replace y double prime with this mess right here so we get minus 16 c sub 1 cosine 4x minus 16 c sub 2 sine of 4x and then it's going to be plus 16 times y but y is just c sub 1 cosine of 4x plus c sub 2 sine of 4x and of course when you go ahead and distribute the 16 into the parentheses we get 16 c sub 1 cosine 4x minus 16 c sub 2 sine of 4x and we, when we distribute the 16 in here, we're going to get 16 c sub 1 cos 4x plus 16 c sub 2 times the sine of 4x. And we can see that this will cancel with this, and this will combine with this. We'll get 0 plus 0 is just 0. So indeed, this does satisfy the differential equation. So I do have a solution family for the differential equation and then to get a particular members of the family you identify specific values for c sub 1 and c sub 2 and so really the question is are there values of c sub 1 and c sub 2 that are going to satisfy these boundary conditions and to do that we just plug in our values so if I look at my solution family here y equals c sub 1 cos 4x plus c sub 2 sine of 4x when I plug in y equal to 0 we want y of 0 to equal 0 so plug 0 in here 
And when we plug zero in for that, we're gonna get y equals c sub one times the cosine of four times zero is zero, plus c sub two times the sine of four times zero is zero. So we're gonna get c sub one times one plus c sub two times zero. And this is gonna to simplify to just c sub one. So we see that when, uh, what we see here is that y of zero is going to equal c sub one. So if we want y of zero to equal zero, and when we plug zero into the solution family, get, we get y of zero equals c sub one, putting these together, we see that zero has to be c sub one. So that's step one. We, we discover that to satisfy this first boundary condition, we can only satisfy it if c sub one is equal to zero. And, c, and zero is a real number, so that's a legitimate choice. So then our, our solution uh, actually winds up for this specific boundary condition, simplifies to a single parameter solution family, c sub two times the sine of four x. And then the question is, can we, can we find c sub two so that the second boundary condition is satisfied. So when we plug in y of pi over two, what are we going to get? We're gonna get c sub two times the sine of four times pi over two simplifies to two pi, and the sine of two pi is zero. So we get c sub two times zero. And we want y of pi over two for our boundary condition, we want y of uh, pi over two to equal zero. So that means zero needs to equal c sub two times zero. And this statement's going to be true no matter what we choose for c sub two. So for all real numbers c sub two, so, so for c sub two, any real number, y equals c sub two times the sine of four x will satisfy uh, both boundary conditions. So notice we're not getting a specific value for c sub two that we have to use. We're really indicating that it, it can be whatever you want and life is going any life's going to be good we have a we have y equals c sub 2 times the sine of 4x as a solution that satisfies the boundary conditions so we could take the exact same differential equation the exact same two parameter solution family and just change uh, change the boundary conditions a little bit keep y of 0 equals 0 as the first boundary condition and we just did this on the previous slide, we saw that our solution family to satisfy this boundary condition that we needed c sub one to equal zero, which meant that y needed to equal c sub two times the sine of four x. And then let's not even put a one here, let's put a here where a isn't equal to zero. So we're just making the value there something different than it was on the previous slide. So if, if uh, y of pi over two equals a, where a isn't zero, when we um, plug our y of pi over two in for our second boundary condition, just like we did on the previous slide, we're going to get the sine of two pi, just like we did on the previous slide. So we get c sub two times zero is what's going to happen when we plug in the pi over two. And if we want y of pi over two to equal a, where a isn't zero, we wind up with the equation a equals c sub two times zero. And for, uh, for our solution family to satisfy this set of boundary conditions, then we would need to find c sub two such that zero times c sub two equals a, where a isn't equal to zero. And the problem is, is no such c sub two exist. So what we find then is that uh, just making a tweak to the boundary condition, we can discover that our solution family for the differential equation is unable to satisfy those boundary conditions.